Hello, my beautiful ducklings. Today, we're going to kind of shift gears. I'm going to talk about how to manifest a cup of coffee and use it to get your specific person or anything you desire. Manifesting a cup of coffee is the absolute most natural thing in the world for me. So much so that I have a coffee cup that says, you had me at coffee. Coffee is a stumbling point though for a lot of people. I have a couple tricks that I can tell you on how to get your cup of coffee and then how you can use something that you manifest so easily to manifest everything else. This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome back to the garden. So my greatest coffee manifestation is somebody brought me a box of 625 pods of coffee at one time. So if I can manifest 625 pods of coffee in one sitting, prior to that it was 152 plus a box of cream. Easily, easily I get a cup of coffee, multiple cups of coffee, if I get iced coffee, it's always a large iced coffee. Uh, sometimes it's a Route 44 from Sonics. So I don't manifest just, you know, a six ounce cup of coffee. I manifest lots of coffee. And I use coffee to enhance any of my other manifestations. And you know that because I talk about the coffee game. So you manifest cups of tea like turning the faucet on and it flows like water. You manifest free meals in the same aspect. Anything that you manifest on a regular basis. If it's a rainbow, if it's a car, if it is a song on the radio, I think about a song and it pops up on the radio. You can use this to your advantage to get whatever you desire. So easily manifest a cup of coffee. We're gonna start at the basics though. You are not able to manifest something easily. I use two phrases then. That phrase is, why do I easily get my desire and why do I get a free cup of coffee? I will add the word always in there occasionally. So why do I always get my desires easily and effortlessly? And why do I always get free coffee? So you can play with which one feels better. Always though, implies until the day I die. That's why I love that little word. It means until the day I die. Now, if that doesn't work for you because you've been saying it or you've been writing out on your piece of paper or your list scripting, the next phrase I use when I get stuck and I can't get something is, I don't know how I got it, but I did. And I use the F word in it quite a bit. I talk always about it doesn't matter what emotion you're putting in to your manifestation as long as it's a forward focused motion. So I'm not saying I don't know how I get a cup of coffee. It just never works out for me. I, you know, I go to the store, I go to work, I go to a restaurant, everywhere I go, they're just charging me for coffee. I don't say that. I'm the opposite. I redirect my thoughts. So if I can't manifest something simple, my thoughts aren't going to be, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to change? My thoughts are going to be, somebody's going to come along and we're going to have a conversation and that conversation is going to cause me to change. Or I am going to just simply, strictly use, I don't know how I got it, but I did until I actually get it and then I'll do it again and then I'll do it again and then I'll start saying I always get free coffee I always get my desires because I always get free coffee I always get my desires so we get stuck trying to figure out the how we feel guilty we have to deal with beliefs um, things that were told us to us from the day that we were born about what is acceptable and unacceptable. Law of Attraction preaches all the time. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. Somebody pointed out to me last night 
that because I wouldn't want to break up a third party because it might break up my relationship I'm creating, I wouldn't do that. That is being selfish if you're keeping that person in a volatile relationship. It's mean to me because I want something and I'm saying I can't have it because doing unto others means I'm being evil. If you are coming from a loving place, it's not truly evil and it had to be pointed out to me. If this person loves you and you love this person but you broke up because you were needy, you were um, constantly needing reassurance, you were accusing them of you know, cheating, something, it doesn't matter. You're doing the same thing with a cup of coffee. You're blocking your manifestation. And that's what I'm doing with a manifestation. I'm blocking it. And I know I'm blocking it because my words I'm saying, I pay attention to. I don't always catch them, but I pay attention. So when you guys are writing in groups and you are messaging me and you're like, I can't even get a cup of coffee or I can manifest anything but this, you're putting that stop sign out and you need to bypass that stop sign. You need to mow it down, run it over, take a jackhammer, break it out of the ground, somehow get rid of it. And those are the questions and the I don't know how statement. The questions bypass all resistance, all doubts to get your manifestation as long as you are looking for the answer in a forward focused motion. Somebody said questions reduce the resistance. No, they literally take it away 100%. If you walk around and say, why do I always get free coffee? And then you go somewhere and you get one cup of free coffee. You went to your daughter's house and she made you a cup of coffee. That's a free cup of coffee. You went to a restaurant and they gave you, you went to one of the buffet restaurants and you ordered a water with your dinner. You ordered a pop. And at the end of the meal, when you're eating your dessert, the waitress comes over and says, would you like a cup of coffee? You got a free cup of coffee. Don't discount little ways. Well, I used to go to a friend of mine. She makes the most amazing cold coffee. And every time I would go over there, she would say, you want coffee? Absolutely. And then she would tell me how I ruined it because I put cream in my coffee and it didn't foam like a beer head. I still loved it. It was still amazing. She passed away and I went home and I saw my Greek kids. And they said, do you want some tea? You want some pop? You want a glass of water? And I said, when did I not become family? And they said, what do you mean? I said, I don't get coffee? I'm devastated. Like, I didn't get offered coffee. I was blown away. I got my coffee. I had to ask for it. But it was still technically a free cup of coffee. Dad, when I would run out of coffee, would go to the store. Don't run out of coffee when you live with a cop. It's a bad thing, really bad. And he would go to the store and he would get a can of coffee. And then he would stop at Dunkin' Donuts and he would get donuts and two cups of coffee. And he would bring them home. So I got a free cup of coffee. I can find ways to show you over and over and over again. You are getting your manifestations. If you're saying a cup of coffee is easy, but my specific person, money, my health is hard, I easily manifest a cup of coffee, so manifesting my health is easy. I easily manifest a cup of coffee, so making money is just as easy. I easily manifest my coffee. I'm always getting free coffee, so I easily manifest my specific person. You can take a simple manifestation and use that manifestation because you know what? You're telling your brain the truth. You had me at coffee, and because you had me at coffee, you give me whatever I want. I stated a fact. I know it's in fact true. I have so much proof, especially with 
25 pod. That I can manifest coffee like that. So of course I can manifest anything else. I manifest coffee. I can manifest a new car. I manifest coffee, so therefore I can manifest my puppy. I manifest coffee, so I can manifest the love of my life. I manifest coffee, so I should be able to use coffee to finish my painting. Well, it's easy to get coffee, so it should be easy to finish my painting. I can build on coffee and add it to anything, and I call it the coffee game. I'm sitting on the table. I'm sitting on the chair, not the table. My daughter wouldn't let me sit on the table. And I'm talking to my daughter, and I will tell Savannah something happened, and she'll hand me a cup of coffee. And say, Mom, I'm so happy for you, or congratulations, or that's awesome. I know exactly what she's going to say. So I always use coffee to manifest whatever I want. It's simple, it's easy, and it is a tool that you have succeeded in making 100% natural. Use that to get anything else you desire simply by adding it to your statement or your question before. I easily manifest coffee, so why do I easily manifest my specific person? I easily manifest coffee, and I don't know how I easily manifest my specific person, but I do. And when you are building on manifesting, everything you manifest is building faith. So my coffee, because of my default, I always get things for free, got me my chair. It got me my headset. On, I didn't get my headset for free, but it was on sale, and I paid half price. And somebody else drove me to get my coffee, so that was a bigger score because I didn't have to drive. So lots of things can be created, and I build on my manifestations so that when I wrote my list, 198 things I manifested out of 200. And because I said coffee was on my list, I get everything I want. Because I know I always get coffee, so of course everything else is going to show up. I get coffee, so my makeup shows up before it's scheduled to be delivered. I ordered a package from Amazon. They said Saturday. I expect it today. Because I drink coffee, everything always works out for me. I know manifesting is supposed to be fun and easy. I know we spend way too much time trying to figure out what we're doing right or what we're doing wrong. I have a great team of people around me. I have a tribe, and we point out words that we are saying. If you are trying to get a divorce, and you're still calling the person your husband or your wife, that's why you're not divorced. Because you're still keeping yourself in that marriage and you're blocking leaving. Because one word. I can get anything except. I manifest easily except. Why doesn't this come to me? You're focusing backwards. And the pictures again are beautiful behind me. And we can do whatever we want. Now pictures. I paint pictures. I love painting pictures. So I've been struggling with an artist block. And somebody said, congratulations, the uh, painting is done. So I've been working on my painting and it's almost done. The paintings up here behind me, there's three of them. The two outer ones are mountain scenes. That one is an acrylic. That two in the middle one and the end one are oils. The acrylic one is Twin Peak. It's a painting I did on my brother's birthday, um, the two of us, so to speak. And the waterfall, I just love water. So it's flowing towards me. It all flows towards me. This one, I finger painted. Absolutely, live on Facebook. It was a challenge that I was given by a mentor. And I went Facebook Live and I painted with my fingers and I did oil paints. But if you can see it, at the bottom of that little waterfall, 
my toes are in the picture because they said get your toes in there so I used my toes to make the rock I can step out of my comfort zone people make me step out of my comfort zone because they challenge me they bring things to me and when I have a problem I ask a question if I cannot manifest something I ask that the answer come to me that shows me what I'm using as a stop sign because I know I'm rejecting my manifestation. When we come into manifesting, it is always because we want to fix something in our life. But we make it complicated because instead of going, you had me at coffee, we're like, how do I get the coffee? When is it going to show up? How does it show up? Who's going to have to pay for it? Who's going to give it to me for free? Everything costs something but here's the secret if I want to buy you a cup of coffee and you reject it you are also denying me the gift of giving you that cup of coffee so if I am manifesting a puppy I'm denying that puppy of being with me if I'm manifesting a car I am denying having that car and showing off or, you know, being a big shot? Or is everybody going to be like, how can you afford that? I mean, there's a lot of reasons I can say I don't want something. If I am rejecting my specific person, I'm also rejecting other manifestations. If I'm rejecting success, if I'm rejecting love, if I'm rejecting life, it's because I am afraid of something. And that guilt is eating you guys alive. And Neville taught to change states. Those two things, asking a question and saying, I don't know how, but I did or I got it, moves you to that new state where you can have, do, or be anything you want. You have an absolutely amazing day. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my videos, and as always, tell me why what I'm sharing with you is drastically changing your life for the better.